Uh, do you know what was a good one? No. What's... When you were on another planet and then you ended up getting together with another guy. That was a good one. I enjoyed that a lot. Great answer. When Clark and May were dancing, yeah. that was a good one. My favorite romantic moment was seeing them getting dressed up. May was wearing that beautiful dress yeah. and I, it might be the first time we see her laughing and smiling. I could have watched that for the hour, actually. I really love the scene where Lincoln and Daisy are sparring and it's kind of like they have like time off. Um, and then of course it gets rudely interrupted by dear Elizabeth. Um, but that one was really cute. There's a lot of like really great chemistry in that one. And also we got to fight a little bit, so that was fun. It's at the end of the framework story when it's a sad moment, but it's also romantic. It's the moment where Yo-Yo says to Mac that if he's staying in the framework, she's staying in the framework with him. I thought that was very, very sweet. The most romantic moment would be them trapped at the bottom of the ocean. It's also special because we wrote the scene, parts of the scene, or a version of the scene, just for auditions, just to see what they could do emotionally. And the two of them, when we put them together, we, I think everybody looks at each other and went, this is okay, it, this, this is, is it. it. I'll say my favorite romantic moment is episode 219, Dirty Half Dozen, where Daisy rescues Lincoln. It's like an amazing action moment. It's like crazy, she's shooting people, she's kicking, and then she rescues the boy and actually quakes his heart. So that to me was pretty romantic. One of my favorite romantic moments is probably seeing Bobby Morse, AKA Mockingbird, take a bullet for her ex-husband Hunter. From season one, the very concept of Fitz's sandwich, when he's describing it to Ward and how meaningful it is to him and that Simmons is the only one that can make it right, you feel so much of the love and understanding that those two have, even when their relationship isn't at that level yet. I think the most romantic was actually when Fitz shows up in the future and is standing behind Simmons unaware that she can't hear him and is professing his love and proposing to her. I thought it was just beautiful. Even though it turned out not to be the real Melinda, just to finally get a kiss from a Melinda. It was a nice special moment for Felinda fans and for us to be able to at least have a, have a little romantic moment between these two characters. We're still waiting for the real kiss, though. If she said someone other than Yo-Yo and Mac had the best kiss, I'm going to be upset. I did. Who'd you say? Uh, Phil and May. Felinda.